Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Today, quick video over just a new product that I picked up that I think is gonna come in real useful for me, hopefully. And it is a 75 watt foldable solar panel that I'm gonna to use to power up all of my little battery boxes. So I've got this one, this is the Tenergy. I've got a Jackery, um, but it should all work the same thing. I picked a 75 watt in this particular model because A, it was less than a hundred bucks. I started looking at these things and I didn't wanna spend $300 for a Jackery panel. And I just didn't wanna spend that much money on it and this you know 75 watts should get the job done if I'm out there all day and this is more of an emergency type use thing anyway so I didn't want to spend that much money on it and this one looked pretty nice so let me show you guys what it looks like so in the bag you basically get this it's what it comes like very small footprint and I'll show you in a, in a minute what I can fit it in but here's the panel that you get and it comes with some a lot of these barrel connectors and these barrel connectors are going to be used to to plug into any of your battery your portable powered battery generator things they're all kind of different sizes this is this has a different in, input size than my jackery does but they give you all different sizes that, you, that you'll end up needing so you'll get that you'll get your dc charging cable that will plug in from this to the barrel connector i'll show that to you and they come it comes with a pretty nice little three-in-one charging cable so it's got your dc input and then it's got a micro s micro usb a lightning a lightning charging port a usb c and your usb standard a that's going to plug in to this directly so that's pretty nice little little thing alligator clips these are pretty you know they're they're okay i guess in a pinch they would work if you need to charge up a 12 volt battery but they're not heavy duty but uh you know again i'll probably keep it in here just in case but they're not they're not crazy heavy duty but they should get the job done in a pinch if you have to and four carabiners because you can hang this thing up this doesn't have a kickstand and i'll get to that in a second but and here's one more port one more barrel adapter that does, does not fit on this on this but it's, it's also in the bag so with that guys let me show you what this thing looks like first off the canvas material that this thing's made out of is very nice to the touch it feels very very high quality the stitching on it seems very very nice and again this thing was less than 100 bucks so so far the outside of it looks nice and in on the front you've got this compartment and this is where your your main charging port's going to be so you've got your two USB plugins right there, and then you have your DC cord that's in here. This is what you're gonna use to connect to your, whatever you're gonna be charging. Or you can connect it via any type of charging cord that has a USB port. You can just plug it straight in, just like so. I hope you guys can can see that probably not it's kind of hard to get to so it just plugs in and then this is going to go to your phone to your gps unit to whatever you have that's going to take a micro usb a USB C, a lightning whatever the case is and again this comes with the with the package I'll tell you how big this thing is nine and a half by 13. one and a quarter thick it weighs four pounds. It is monocrystalline panels. And it's got a PET frosted anti-scratch coating on it. And this thing folds out to this. And you can see these the panels, hopefully. So the unfolded overall length of this thing, you're gonna you're looking at approximately 59 inches okay and per the specs from the supplier on this thing it's got a 22 percent efficiency rating so that's not bad um, there are better there's worse so it's not bad but we're going to test it to see exactly what this thing puts out in terms of wattage to charge my battery panel because this will tell you how many how many watts this thing is generating so we'll, we'll test that out overall form factor the reason i the main reason i bought this it just folds up Clamp it down, button it up, and I use, this is a 511 Rush 12 backpack, so this is the smallest backpack that, that 511 offers, and it's a pretty small backpack, but this fits perfect right in it. 
boom, done. Most of these other panels that I were looking at, they're more, they're like the big briefcase style panels and you have to carry those around. You have to find a place to put them. This thing folds up perfectly and fits in the backpack that I use every day. So that's great. Now you're, you're I'm missing out on 25 watts. Most of your solar panels are 100 watt and on up. I just like the form factor of this little solar panel. Now it does not have a kickstand. So the, the thing is, is that when you unfold this, some of these solar panels have kickstands in the back where you can flip them out and it kind of stands up. This you'll just have to lay out on the ground, on top of the roof of your car, on the hood of your car, or you can use these carabiners that it came with and hook them on to any of these eyelets that are on that are on here and you can actually you know hang these up you can hang it from whatever you can imagine to hang it up from so you can use that now i'm not too worried about it not having a kickstand because i can always find a place to put this so that is that's basically it for this panel so far i'm really impressed with the with with the build quality of it again this canvas that's that's on the outside of it feels really rough but in a good way you know it, it's it, the, the stitching looks good and i've got sawdust all over my work table but um, the stitching looks looks high quality it doesn't look like it's going to come unraveled it's got a nice heft to it again it's four pounds approximately but overall it just seems like a nice quality unit it is ip65 rated so you can get it wet i'll have to go check the ratings on ip65 but you know, obviously can't submerge this in probably 10 feet of water but that would kind of limit this thing useless anyway. But IP65 is more than enough for this. And if it's raining outside, this isn't gonna work anyway, because normally you're not gonna have sunlight. So, you know, is what it is. But if it's if it's damp in the morning and you get humidity build up on it, it'll be fine. They do claim that it's got a built-in smart chip and that helps to identify devices that you plug in via the five volt USB. So you don't overcharge your items. Now I would, I would still be a little careful with that. I don't think I would plug in my iPhone to this and leave it all day long it claims that there's a smart chip in here i don't have a way to test that but if it, if it does have one super great let's see how many watts this little guy will charge my little portable power station now i took this out last weekend and i charged this thing up in my truck using the supplied 12 volt cigarette style charger so i plugged that into my, my 12 volt socket and i plugged in to here and i was pulling 36 watts from a 12 volt socket i think mileage is going to vary on different brands but for this tenergy i was charging 36 watts using my 12 volt charging cord so i'm going to compare that to this and see how well this thing does in terms of charging this up let's let the sun kind of get out it's a pretty cloudy day here but let me wait till the sun gets out and i'll take you outside and i'll show you how you actually hook this thing up to the power station okay folks so this has kind of turned it out to be a little bit more difficult to film just because it is so bright out here um, for you to be able to see the the monitor so i'm using my jackery instead of the tenergy because this has a different screen display on it and you can actually see it easier and i'll show that to you when i plug it in so first step is to just uh, to open open up this solar panel and i'm going to pull out the little six inch pigtail and then i'm going to plug in the supplied extension cord that it goes with and for the jackery I'm going to need one of the barrel adapters that it is supplied in this kit which is already I already have it on here so let me plug this in make sure I'm not put casting a shadow on any of this stuff And I am pulling 41 watts of energy from the panel into my jackery to charge. Let me grab the camera and hopefully show the show you guys that if it'll pick it up. So now we are actually pulling 45 watts. So I'll take that any day of the week for a less than $100 solar panel that folds up and I can stick in my backpack. Up to 46 watts. Okay guys, so overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with this unit. For less than 100 bucks, you get a really compact, pretty well built, foldable solar panel that you can stick in your backpack and obviously it provides enough juice to get you by whatever you need. So whether it's charging a, a phone, charging a battery box like this, 
you know, between 40 and 50 watts is more than adequate for me. And I think it's adequate enough for most people. If you want more watts to be supplied to your, to whatever you're needing to be charged, get a bigger solar panel that provides more output. However, I didn't want that. I didn't want a big, huge unit. I wanted one that was small and portable like this that I, again, could put in my backpack. So very happy with it. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this particular panel that I got. Um, check it out if you're interested. But uh, I think it's going to be really useful for, for me and camping and all that good stuff and not ever really worrying about do I have to go find a power supply to plug in my batteries to make sure that I have enough juice for, you know, overnight. I can plug this in during the day when I'm not needing it, get enough power into it to supply me overnight. So, cool. Anyway, guys, that's it. Take care.